you're watching Ozbox News, please remember to hit the like button, jab the subscribe button, and get the comments going down in the comment section below. So what's the deal with Gennady Golovkin? So it's absolutely no secret that there's a lot of hype going around about Gennady Golovkin. Just look at the forums on the internet. All the Golovkin fanboys saying he can't be beaten, he won't be beaten. Even respected journalists are saying he was going to give Chavez a destroyed face if they managed to fight him sometime in late July. I want to know why all you guys just love him so much and, and why you think he's not only a great champion, but some even say the best champion. You know, maybe aside from Floyd, they think he's the best champion. Not only has he never beaten a champion, he's never even fought a champion. Chavez Jr. is a former champion, so I don't care who Golovkin faces, it can be a champion or a former champion, just face someone where you earn that respect. You know, we live in the boxing age where you don't actually have to beat a champion to become a champion. Are you guys forgetting that Golovkin was just given the belt? For any of you who don't remember this, Golovkin was given his WBA belt. Here's the story. Daniel Gill went to Germany, won the IBF title of Sebastian Sylvester, and then went back to Germany again, smashed Felix Sturm after he hadn't been beaten in years, and got the WBA title. He was a unified champion. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but as a unified champion, you should be giving a little bit of respect. You should be able to take a big money fight without the risk of, you know, the organization taking your belt. That's what the WBA did. They took Daniel Gill's belt and basically just gave it to Golovkin because he didn't want to fight him within the two month period. The WBA should have let Daniel Gill have this fight and then he would have had no excuses not to face Golovkin. As a matter of fact, I think he would have faced Golovkin. At that time, Gennady Golovkin wasn't even relatively known. That's when he fought Gabriel Rosado. So what, you beat the shit out of Rosado? Doesn't everyone beat the shit out of Rosado? Since then, who has Gennady Golovkin fought? Really, tell me. Osamu Adama, or whatever his name is? whoop de doo You know, with all due respect, that kidney punch that he gave Matthew Macklin, that was freaking awesome. But Matthew Macklin was overhyped anyway. Since the Rosado fight, has Golovkin actually fought someone worthy of all this praise and respect and hype? Now he's looking to move up to 168 so we can verse Chavez Jr. Look, if you beat Chavez Jr., respect. Now the thing I do like about Gennady Golovkin is he's fighting regularly and that's something we should see from more boxers these days. I hate when boxers take like six, seven, eight, even more months to fight. It makes me lose the momentum, that fan momentum. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, Daniel Gill, you went to, to Germany and and you beat Sturm, and you got his WBA belt, and now you're a unified champion. That is unbelievable. Well done, Daniel Gill. But I'm just going to have to quickly take that WBA belt off you and just give it to Golovkin. Had Daniel Gill been a more well-known fighter, he would have been able to keep the belt for a lot longer. But because he was relatively unknown, they were like, oh, we'd rather give it to this Golovkin guy so we can just hype him up and market the shit out of him. The marketing team has been absolutely wonderful behind getting to Golovkin. He's getting more pay-per-view buys than Manny Pacquiao. How is this possible? He hasn't even beaten anyone of recognition yet. I'm really confused. I just don't, I just don't understand it. Make me understand. You know, it's really unfair that there's a lot of fighters out there that have worked so hard to get their belts. They've put in their careers on the line. They've put in everything on the line. And they don't get half the praise and half the respect that Gennady Golovkin gets. Don't you find that there's something wrong with this? Who has Gennady Golovkin faced and beaten that is really worthy of all this praise and respect? Look, I need to see Gennady Golovkin fight Daniel Gill. I need to see it. I need Daniel Gill to get his belt back. I need Daniel Gill to get that belt right back where it belongs. Back down here in Australia. I know you all want to see Gennady Golovkin fight Daniel Gill. Don't you tell me you don't want to see it. You want to see Daniel Gill come back and get his belt. You want to see Gennady Golovkin expose. He's a great fighter, but he's not a champion yet.